Hello, today we're making cha muang. Cha muang has a similar flavor profile, sweet, savory, similar to saku yasai or saku saimu. I will show you two ways, my way and the traditional way. Cha muang means purple bouquet and traditionally gets its purple color from butterfly pea. So we're going to steep some here. If you want to do red, you can use beets or roselles. While those are steeping, I'm going to work on my filling by pounding some garlic cloves with cilantro stems. We'll pound that to a paste and set it aside. Next, add a tablespoon of vegetable oil to a wok over medium heat. Next, add a half an onion and cook until translucent, and then add your garlic coriander paste. Let that cook until it's fragrant. Add 10 ounces of ground pork or chicken, a couple tablespoons of fish sauce, about a quarter teaspoon of white pepper, 30 grams of palm sugar. You can adjust to taste. I'm going to add a pinch of salt here. Finally, add about a quarter cup of crushed peanuts. This can be optional. We'll cook that until it's done and dark. Now for the dough, we'll start in a pan with the heat off. Add one and a half cups of rice flour, three tablespoons of arrowroot starch. You can use tapioca starch or arrowroot, but the arrowroot is preferred and two tablespoons of glutinous rice flour. We'll mix that together. Add a quarter cup of coconut milk and the one cup of our butterfly pea tea. We'll give that a stir to incorporate the ingredients before we turn on our heat to medium low. It will look like goo, but we'll cook it until the liquid has evaporated and looks like dough. We'll turn this onto a floured surface and just knead it until it's smooth. Next, we'll pinch off pieces, about inch size balls, flatten them, and fill them with a spoonful of the filling and roll them back up. You can use the traditional crimpers, but I prefer the small moon cake press because it's more efficient. You just place the press over your ball, press down, and voila! With the traditional crimper, you make the ball and then you basically crimp each petal of the flower. These online steamer trays and steam them for about six to eight minutes until they're done. These are best served the same day with fried garlic, chili, lettuce, cilantro. That's my easy peasy twist on a traditional recipe. For this recipe and more, visit craftstocrumbs.com.